Meet Scruffles, a tiny kitten that my son and I rescued out of the middle of the road on our way home from school. He was malnourished, covered in feces, and his eye was matted shut. We got him a bath, opened up that eye to relieve the pus, and luckily it looked much better afterward. The kitten was very lethargic and weak, and I feared he might not make it, so I prepared the kids for the worst, but promised we would try our best. The vet placed him at about four weeks old and confirmed that he was malnourished and had an upper respiratory infection. He prescribed us a steroid and an antibiotic. He also said that there was some sort of trauma that happened at some point to his head, but wasn't sure exactly what. For a while, we thought something might be wrong with his vision, but as he grew stronger, we confirmed that this was not the case. But something with Scruffles still seemed off, and I couldn't quite pinpoint it. Even as he grew stronger, he was still not reacting quite right to things around him. I finally figured it out when I brought the vacuum in to clean out his cage, and he had zero reaction. Scruffles was deaf. That's why he wasn't reacting correctly. Honestly, in our house, it might be a blessing because the kids can get pretty loud. After about a week of bottle feeding Scruffles every four hours, he was ready to switch to a wet food mixture. And he was growing pretty well. And he bit off the nipple to his bottle, so that helped. He caught on to the wet food, plus started using the litter box really well. The medicine also helped him out a lot, and he's doing so much better. He can be a bit wobbly still sometimes, but overall has become very playful and a bit more confident in the house. His hearing disability hasn't seemed to face him much, and he gets around just fine. I do have to remind the kids, though, not to sneak up behind him and pet him, because it might scare him when he can't hear them coming. He's becoming increasingly feisty, and I call him our little tiger cub now. But he also loves cuddles and is super fun to play with. And a little hypnosis makes him tired? I don't know what that is. <laughs> He's off the poop, though. My son named him Scruffles within the first few seconds of him being in the car after we found him on the road. And at the time, I didn't question it, especially because we weren't sure if he was going to make it. But at this point, I think we all know and love him by Scruffles. We have toyed with a couple other names, though, like Boots, Puss in Boots, Oliver from Oliver and Company. Or Mowgli from Jungle Book, but Scruffles seems to be the uh, the name that is sticking around.